As central and southern Gaza came under heavy air and artillery fire that filled hospitals with wounded Palestinians. A reported attack on an aid convoy underscored the increasingly desperate need for supplies in the territory. On Friday, the head of the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees accused Israeli forces of shooting at marked UN trucks returning from delivering aid in northern Gaza, an incident the UN's humanitarian chief condemned as unlawful. Gaza's population is almost entirely reliant on the UN and other international aid groups to meet their basic needs. In a sign of the desperation, hungry civilians at risk of starvation are swarming aid trucks and immediately eating what they find. As Israeli soldiers push deeper into Khan Yunus and the camps of central Gaza, the Biden administration again bypassed the standard congressional review process for a weapons sale to Israel. The State Department says the arms sale is vital to U.S. national interests to assist Israel to develop and maintain a strong and ready self-defense capability. But with Gaza in the grips of a humanitarian catastrophe over 12 weeks of war, South Africa has filed a case at the International Court of Justice accusing Israel of engaging in genocidal acts against the Palestinian people. Israel's foreign ministry called on the ICJ to dismiss the filing, which it rejects with disgust, adding in part, Hamas is responsible for the suffering of the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip by using them as human shields. Karen Siolin, City News. I'm not going to